Hi friends, hope you are fine. In this video, let us understand the life cycle of bryophyte within 3 to 5 minutes. So we have divided the entire life cycle into 7 steps for better understanding. Let's begin. So this is the most advanced bryophyte, the moose. In the case of bryophyte, point number 1 is haploid gametophytic phase is the dominant phase. So this is the gametophyte, haploid gametophyte. So let me zoom in these for better understanding. As you see, there are root-like structures which is called as rhizoids and there is a leafy stem-like structure. So these are non-vascular plants without true stem, roots or leaves. So they are called as non-vascular thallophytes where haploid gametophytic phase is dominant. In this case, there is a male gametophyte that will form the male reproductive structure and the female gametophyte that forms the female reproductive structure. Step 1 is the formation of anthridium and archegonium. This male gametophyte forms this anthridium, the male reproductive structure or male gametangium, and the female gametophyte forms this archegonium or female gametophyte. Let me zoom in for understanding the structure. So this is the anthridium. Anthridium has a stalk, then there is a club-shaped structure. The outer wall is called the jacket layer, a single layer of cells. Inside, androcyte mother cells divides and form androcytes that forms this male gametes, biflagellated male gametes or sperm cells. So these sperm cells are released through this opening at the terminal end of anthridium at maturity. In the case of archegonium, it is a flasheaf structure as you see. The top narrow portion is called as the neck region, which is made up of neck cells, neck canal cells and at the top there are four cover cells. This swollen basal region is called as a vendor region with a vendor canal cell and X cell. At maturity, these cells, vendor canal cell and cell disorganize and forms a mucilage that helps in entry of this sperm cells into archegonium through this neck region. The sperm cells are biflagellated or flagellated. Water is essential for fertilization. So the sperm cells attaches to this neck portion of the archegonium and enters and fuses with X cell. And step two is the formation, fusion of male and female gamete. And finally, step three is the formation of zygote. So zygote is formed. This is the first cell of the sporophyte or zygote begins the sporophytic phase. So gametophytic phase is over. Then the zygote divides and later forms an embryo, a multicellular embryo. And later it forms the sporophyte. Step 4 is the formation of embryo. Then step 5 is the formation of sporophyte. As you see, sporophyte is made up of three regions, a foot, a seta and a capsule. Here, the most important point is the sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte. As you see, the sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte. This food region is meant for attachment to this gametophyte and it also derives nutrients from the gametophyte for the developing capsule or spores. Then this elongated region is called the seta that conducts or transfer food from this food region to the capsule where developing spores are there. Inside the capsule, spores are formed. So let us see the structure of this capsule. Let me zoom in this region. As you see, this is the capsule. Capsule, there is a covering which is called as calyptra. Then capsule is made up of three regions, an outer opening or lid which is called as operculum through which the spores are released. Then the fertile region which is called as theca. Inside that sporogenous mother cell undergoes meiosis. So these are diploid cells undergoes meiosis forming haploid spores. And the basal swollen region is called as apophysis which is also a sterile region that attaches to the seta. On maturity, this operculum has specialized cells called annulus, which are thin-walled cells, absorbs water, opens and releases the spores to the outside. Once the spore is formed, the sporophytic diploid phase is over. Again starts the gametophytic phase. Then the spores germinate and forms protonema, the filamentous structure that is formed by the division of the spores is called as protonema. So first it forms a rhizoid. Then it forms a bud with photosynthetic leaves. So this is called as protonema, young gametophyte. Then protonema later forms the gametophyte, mature gametophyte, gradually developing that leafy structure. 
with rhizoids. So a gametophyte is formed. Once again, the gametophytic phase begins. Male and female gametophytes are formed. So in this life cycle, as you see, the dominant phase or living phase is a haploid gametophytic phase. The sporophyte is dependent on this gametophyte. Then the third point is there is alternation of generation between sporophyte and gametophyte. So this is a gametophytic phase and this is a sporophytic phase. Here both this gametophyte and sporophyte are morphologically different. Therefore this type of life cycle is called as heteromorphic alternation of generation. And finally the gametophytes are formed thus completing the life cycle. Hope you are clear with the life cycle of bryophyte. We have given a detailed video on classification of bryophytes. You can refer that for more on liver words and horn words. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.